Hello, hi. Good morning, my brothers and sisters. Today, message said the blessings of obedience in the word of God. If you have your Bible, my brothers and sisters, please pay attention. Open Deuteronomy chapter 28, verses 1 to 4. I think you are there. Let's read it together. The Bible is telling us that if you obey the word of God and faithful, keep all his commandments that I am giving you the today, all you need. He will make you greater than any other nation or on earth. God is telling you, when you obey the commands of God, the word of God, the rules and regulations of God, he will surprise you. He will make you greater. He will show you mercy. He will take you to the highest level. He will change your story. People will know that the hand of God is in your family. Today God is telling us, obey the, obey the Lord, your God, and all these blessings will be yours. When you obey God, you will see abundance of blessing God will give you. And when God bless you, he has blessed you. He will never change his mind. It is also telling us, when you obey the word of God, the blessings from above, authority and power, God will give it to you. And God will give you many children with it abundant graces, with all you need. God will grant all of them for you. God will make your enemy to be afraid of you. Your enemy will never have peace because God has blessed you. Not only blessed, take you to the highest level, protect you. Your enemy will be running up and down. When they gather to attack you, they will fail. They will not succeed because the hand of, the hand of God is in you. The enemy will be complaining up and down, running up and down, without knowing that God has blessed you. He may think that you are a juju person like him or her, but you don't know that God is in you. My, bless, my brothers and sisters, the benefit of serving God is abundant. It's very, very wonderful. God is there standing for you. Your enemies will be running, complaining. Your enemies will be targeting you. He don't know that all he plans will go back to him. Because God have increased your power. God have taken you to the highest level. God has given you power and authority. My brothers and sisters, do not go back in worshiping God so that that blessing of God will be permanent in your life. The benefit of serving God, obeying the word of God, God will make you to be honored. God will be blessing whatever you are doing. You will be seeing progress. Long life and prosperity, God will grant it to you. Strong protection, strong good health. The Spirit of God will be working with you. No premature death in your family. Whatever you lay your hand, God will prosper you. Because you open up your heart to receive God, to worship God, to keep, to keep command of God. What is it that you want from God that God cannot give you? My brothers and sisters, that's the blessing in keeping the word of God. When God says, do not do this, you try as much as you can to do that. Keep it. Obey the word. Do not provoke God. That blessing you are targeting, that profit will increase it. God will surprise you. When you are serving God with truth, 
Do not have double mind. God is watching your footstep, watching your behavior, watching your character, watching your sincerity, watching your seriousness. When you are serving God with the truth, that blessing of God will be upon you. If you read Matthew chapter 5, verses 1 to 12, you will see how God writes out, blessed are those who have the mind to keep his word and put it into practice. Try to read your Bible. Try to come closer to God. Try to please God. Remember on the last day, God will ask you, what have you been doing on the earth? Then you will question yourself. You don't know that it is like this. Every good thing you do, it is recorded. Every bad thing you do, it is recorded. It is better for you to go to the way of God, to worship God when you are young, when you, are, when you have the strength. Do not separate yourself from things of God. Do not disobey God. God have abundant blessing for those who trust in Him, who hope you have confidence in Him. When you are serving God, you may see temptation, but God knows that they will never defeat you. You will need many things. Maybe Satan is trying your heart. God knows that He will grant everything you need, everything you requested. God will do it for you. God is saying, John 14, 14, Anything you need in the name of Jesus, he will do it for you. Matthew 7, 7, say, I shall be given to you. What you need is in the hand of God. I shall serve him, God. God will never fail you. He will never disappoint you. He will never allow you to enter shame. You will never bury your children. Any unforeseen circumstances, God will take it away. God will never allow you to be in sorrow. The enemy will never laugh at you. Since you are serving God, he will be protecting you. If it is happening in the front, you will be at the back. If it is at the right hand, it will be, you will be at the left. If the trouble is coming from the left, God will take you to the right. God will never see you to jam that problem. Whatever evil people plan, it will never hurt you. Because you open your heart to worship God, to keep His command. It is better to hear the word of God. You put it into practice. Because on the last day, you don't have anything to present. Had I know always come at last. Heaven and earth will pass away. The word of God will never pass away. Many will hear the word of God. They will drop it there. They will say it is for them. But some people will hear the word of God. They amend their life. They change their ways. And as they do so, God will bless them. My brothers and sisters, please do not go back. Let the blessing of God be upon you. As we are going out now, I want the Holy Spirit to surprise us. I want the Holy Spirit to show us that truly really we are child of God. Do not worry anything you need. God is there for you. Let us pray. Brothers and sisters, I pray to you that may God Almighty, with all the power and authority, continue to protect and guide us. Do not allow us to go back for earthly things. May God strengthen us to put his word into practice. Any devil or agent of devil who will gang against us, may the mighty Father, Destroy that plan of evil. Anywhere they gather, may thunder from above. Destroy that plan. They will never get hold of us. We will never forget the word of God. Anywhere Satan comes with temptation, we will conquer it. May God always protect our family, strengthen us. I pray that any mark of shame or failure or hardship or setback, or promise and fear, or disappointment. By the power of Almighty God, I destroy all of them in the mighty name of Jesus. 
you will never be a failure in your life. Any grave Satan have planned against you, or dog against you, that grave Satan will enter it with his agent. You will jump it and pass. That grave, I cover it with the power of our Lord Jesus. They will never see you. I pray by the power of the Holy Spirit, any sorrow or bitterness in your life or anything that make you to go back, I destroy it forever in the mighty name of Jesus. I pray by the power of Almighty God, you must see the blessing of God. You must see the miracle of God. That you are targeting, God will grant it for you. The enemy will come to you and beg. You will never be a beggar in your life. God has taken you to the highest level. I pray any hindrance, any obstacle, any temptation will never come to you. You will drop it and pass. Anywhere they gather in their kingdom of darkness, in their kingdom of uh, setback, in their kingdom of wickedness, they will never see you. As they gather, all of them will enter there. They will experience what they have planned. Since you are serving God, the blessing of God will be going to you day and night. God will be blessing you, protecting you. You will be seeing good things. You are the enemies. You will be seeing bad things. What they plan against you. You will never be a victim. Say amen. You will never be a victim. Anything you are doing, you will succeed. Why your enemy will be crying? Because they reject the word of God. My brothers and sisters, you will never regret for coming to fellowship today. Trust in God. This season is a season of blessing, favor. Favor will be upon you. The grace of God will be upon you. You will experience the miracle of God today. All that you need, may God grant all of them, surprise you at the point of need. In the mighty name of Jesus. My brothers and sisters, if today is your first day of coming or watching our video, I beg you to subscribe to God's abundant grace. You will understand more and you will know more. The God's grace is sufficient in our life. God don't want us to perish. As you hear the word of God, try as much as you can to put it into practice and God will be with you. God will surprise you. I hope you have not forgotten my name. My name is Sister Bridget, or oh, Mrs. Emeronyekwe, the servant of God. As we are going out now, may Holy Spirit go with us. May the presence of God go with us. I cover all of us in the blood of Jesus. Our going and coming blood of Jesus, our family blood of Jesus, our business blood of Jesus. Whatever we lay our hand, blood of Jesus. No weep of fashion against us shall prosper. In the mighty name of Jesus, I pray. It. Amen. Thank you, brothers and sisters. Remain blessed in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen.